Hello everybody, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my Christmas Get Ready With Me. That kind of hurts my heart because it means Christmas will be over soon and I'm always, I have the blues right after Christmas. So anyways, but Christmas is a time to get super glam, to go all out. If you're not used to going all out, this is the time to do it. I love using super standout glittery glitz shades every day, but I kick it up a notch even for Christmas, well, for the holidays in general. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, what I used to get this look, it's using all of my products picked out during my Shop My Stash, then just keep on watching. Starting off with our primer. This is going to be the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer, officially my favorite primer of life. This causes my foundation to go on so smoothly. It feels so good. I'm just happy with it. <laughs> just smoothing this all over my face so that then I can go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, the matte version. This, the little nozzle, I don't know, I think it was a little clogged. It went everywhere. <laughs> Usually I dot my foundation all over my face, but this time I kind of just did a little bit of a, I don't know, just kind of smearing it all over. And I think I have decided I'm going to stick with dotting it all over my face. I did use my beauty blender instead of a brush. I go in phases, like sometimes I'll go a couple of months with preferring a brush to use my or to apply my foundation. And then there's other times where I get back into using a beauty blender and I'm just like, this is the way to go. <laughs> using my Matte Velvet Skin Concealer by Makeup Forever. This applicator, I forget how chunky it is till I start taking it out of the bottle and I'm like, oh my gosh. Anywho, so just putting that not only on my under eyes, I've started putting concealer around my nose. This e.l.f. cup, I mean, treasure, score, whatever you want to call it from Home Goods. <laughs> so like I was saying, I like to put concealer now around my nose because that area just gets really red and dry, especially after having been sick, it's just uh, not cute. So <laughs> concealer really helps hide all that. Next, I'm going in with my Pat McGrath Brightening Under Eye Powder. This is in the light shade and a Knit Cosmetics brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but I have found that I love it for under eye application. It's just perfect. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. This is in the shade Fair. I'm going in with a blending brush. Now, I don't get the hype on this product. I'm really, it's nice. I don't think I would choose it over my Huda Easy Bake Powder. I don't know, maybe that's just me. And then my Gucci bronzer, which is life itself. This bronzer is so amazing. I don't think I could ever choose another bronzer over this one at this point. Going in with a Sephora, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a one of those little duo fiber brushes and it's in the old format because they've since redone their brushes and uh, also placing the bronzer of course on my cheek the hollows of my cheeks and stuff like that i tend to go a little heavy i tend to go ham on this and ends up looking muddy no matter what bronzer i'm using so here shortly you're going to see that i'll clean it up with a with my beauty blender and what's left of the foundation i don't do a lot of cleanup when it comes to like powder and stuff i just don't take the time to do it <laughs> So just cleaning that up so it looks a little bit better. Now, going in with the fun part, you guys know eyeshadow palettes are my fave. Going in with the Celestial Storm palette and the shade Astrid Lust, and I am placing this with a Jaclyn Hill Morphe blending brush pretty strategically on my crease. I'm trying not to be too messy because I'm not looking for that type of look. <laughs> I really want this in my crease and just a little bit higher because I want this shade to peek out. Um, it's, I don't know, I look at it and I think winter, I think Christmas. It's just almost like an icy type of shade. It reminds me of frost or something, I don't know. Going in with a clean blending brush, this is also a Jaclyn Hill Morphe, and really just buffing that out and trying to get it to go a little bit higher. I don't want to go too high with too much pigment, pigment I just want it to kind of ease up there. Going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer for the tackiness. I applied this all over my eyes, and I kind of regret doing that. You're going to see in a little bit, but I do, I do go in with the shade Black Matter. This is a beautiful shade. I did go in with my finger. For this type of 
placement, I should have gone in with a brush. And I do go in with a brush here shortly just because my finger is a little too big <laughs> to get it strategically and detailed placed where I want it. And this shade actually goes on very nicely with a brush. So once I did that, I did the other eye with just a brush and it was so much better. Next, I'm going back in with the Fenty Pro Filter because again, I shouldn't have put it all over my eye. I lost what I needed in the middle for the super standout shade. So just placing a little bit more of that. And now going in with the ColourPop Good Is Gold palette and the shade Golden Touch. This shade is absolutely stunning. It's one of ColourPop's best, to be quite honest. And this palette was so underrated. And I look back and I kind of wish they'd have done something similar this year. But anywho, going back in with the shade Black Matter, just kind of blending those two in just so that it doesn't look so, so harsh. Um, just kind of sweeping that together. Next, I am, I didn't even show you what shade I used. I'm going back in with that Astrid Lush shade, which was the purple one I used in the crease. Changing out my brush, because the first one was a little too stumpy. So I'm going in with a pencil brush. I find pencil brushes to be the most ideal for what I want in placement on my lower lash line. And so I did place that all over the lower lash line. I'm just trying to tie in what I did on the top. <clears throat> Next, I'm going in with the shade Black Matter, that same pencil brush, and this is gonna go on the outer portion of the lower lash line. Once I put that Astrid Lust shade, I was like, okay, it's missing something. There needs to be a little bit more drama, a little bit more smoke, and so I, uh, yeah, I definitely needed a little something something there. So it totally added so much more depth, dimension, smokiness, exactly what a Christmas look requires, you know? <laughs> Next, going in with the ColourPop eyeliner. This is from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. It's the green one. I am so sorry. I don't have it here with me and I can't tell you what it's called, but it's the only green one that she released. Going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I don't know how I feel yet about this mascara. I'm pretty loyal to Maybelline when it comes to drugstore mascaras. I think it's I think it's decent. I think I'm grow it's I think it's growing on me is what I'm trying to say. Y'all, this is a pretty wet formula and I just have to say if you make the wrong move and it gets on your upper like brow, it's very frustrating. Going in with my Laura Mercier blush palette and the blush called Rosé, it's the middle one. I'm going to build this blush up. Um, this is a very buildable blush palette and uh, I, I like it for that reason. It's harder to go super extreme. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my Ofra um, Highlighting Trio and going in with the, the middle and the last shade. I didn't want something super icy because my look is gold. <laughs> so, um, mixing metals here, but that's okay. Anywho, uh, just going in with those two. It still was a little bit more icy than I had envisioned, but it didn't look bad. And we're about to top it with something that's super icy, so I don't know. I'm just I'm mixing metals, just, you know. I do it with jewelry all the time, so why not do it with makeup too, you know? Next, going in with the Fenty Diamond Bomb. This is her original one. I think it's called How Many Carrots, something like that. And I'm just applying it with my fingers. I love this thing. Now, I wish she would come out with another shade that kind of appeals to me, but anywho, that's my favorite one. So next in, going with the Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. I just realized that I'm saying anywho a lot, so if it's annoying, I'm sorry. <laughs> going in with the Artist Couture, I forget what these are called, but uh, this is one of those little diamond thingies. But I'm warming it up on my finger. If I don't do that, I find that I don't get the same result. But these are absolutely beautiful if you are new to them. I'm gonna kind of peruse my little set for Too Faced. This is the most recent holiday lippy collection. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. Ultimately, I was happy with the choice I made, but I, it was it was a hard choice. So when in doubt, you just kind of put a little bit of a swatchy swatch on your lips and then decide from there. Ultimately, I think either one would have looked beautiful, but I ended up deciding on Candy Cane. This can be a very dry formula. 
but I do find that I like these minis so much better than their full size. I find them to be less drying, which is kind of weird because you would think it would be the same formula. Who knows? Um, but this candy cane shade does run a little bit pink, FYI. So, lastly, I did top it with a Patrick Ta gloss in She's Expensive. That made all the difference in the world. And as far as lashes, you guys, I'm using the Kiss, I think it's like the Couture lashes in the Style Russian Volume. I find these to be a high dupe for the Samantha by Huda, and they're like seven bucks. They're definitely worth it. So that finalizes this look, you guys. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, I hope it inspired you to get all glammed up for yourself this Christmas. All right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, I hope it encourages you to pull some goodies out of your own collection. Not necessarily go buy anything. Don't go buy anything. Pull out your own goodies and play with them. Use them. I mean, get yourself all dolled up this Christmas holiday. So that being said, it is time to just leave you with a verse of the day just to let you know that I love you and Jesus loves you to motivate you, encourage you. Um, as usual, I'll leave a phone number here in case you are you know this is a very joyful time for some and very depressing and difficult for others so if, if that is the case for you you know just call the number there's somebody at least to talk to to pray with you to maybe encourage and lift your spirits um, maybe you have a prayer need or whatever the case may be just give them a call no commitment it's just really you know for someone to talk to for you I leave you with Matthew 121, which is I think the same one that I left in my Shop My Stash video, but it is really just so appropriate for the season. And it is Matthew 121 and it says, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. What a fulfillment um, for us. What a most beautiful gift. Jesus is the greatest gift of all. And it is my prayer that if you don't already know him, that you would come to know him as your savior and very best friend, that you would experience the very peace and just enveloping love that he gives. It's overwhelming. All right, my friends, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. I love you guys, but Jesus loves you so much more. I will see you in the next one. Merry Christmas.